Here's Cora, the camp dog. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So everybody's left except for me, my parents, and my daughter. So and my uncle. Um, they're watching the kid for me. So I'm heading into town, get something to eat because the food is delicious and cheap. The other day we were in there, uh, nine tacos, uh, chips and guacamole, three drinks, and beans and rice, fifteen bucks. So and the food is really good. Um, after that, I'm going to head north of town and open this thing up and see what she does. I've only got E22 in it right now, and I can't put any more gas in because it'll lower it, and I can't get anything here to raise it. So I won't be on like the real high power map, so I probably won't pull as high or pull as hard up top. So I guess, yeah, we'll just uh, enjoy the drive through nothing for a minute. I don't know what kind of person you are, you might think that this is just shitty out here or absolutely beautiful. I like a desert more than I like a forest. Um, I like nothing more than a lot and I don't like people that much. So down here, this is like paradise to me. Nothing around, just the way I like it. There's the Poblado. You got a little hardware store, about three restaurants, a little grocery store. Did you see the street? Painted, oh shit dip. <clears throat> it's gotten a lot better. But it's a dip with a big hump in the middle of the dip. First time I came down here, I was in the back of a truck. Flew up and hit the top of the canopy because that bump is nasty. And if anybody heard that little squeak a second ago, everybody always says that no, you won't rub, you won't rub, you won't rub. Even with setups more aggressive than mine. 18 by 8 plus 35, 245 40s. The rear is fine. The front just barely hits up at the uh, fender liner kind of by the side marker other than that yes you're fine this is stock height stock camber I'm not gonna run a stupid amount of camber just to clear my tire so I might actually even go back to 235 next time because that might be all it will take with my wheels to just tuck up inside of that.
Uh, get ready to go 145. Getting ready to go 145. <clears throat> uh, nervous, actually. I'm already pretty confident I'm not pulling to 145. Um, barely cruising around town. My intake tip got so hot, the knock control started climbing. Um, See if I get it to learn back down. No, it actually learned it learned up. Uh, so, yeah, um, not the greatest conditions for this. Although the coolant is uh, coolant's dropped about 11 degrees, intakes dropped about 10 degrees so far. So uh, we might get a good one. We might. We might. We might. Wow, this is not a U-turn point. Next one I find, I'll come into town. Uh, as soon as I see the sign, the uh, welcome sign, which call me a dumbass right now. I'm gonna fucking haul ass into town. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually instead of doing like a zero two pull because my knock controls at 0.57, intake temperature's high, ethanol content's low. I'm just not going to be able to really do that. If I started at zero, by the time I hit 60, my knock control would probably be at 70s. All right, so I guess what these are is a highway rest stop Baja California edition because uh, it's just a real quick right turn and then you just merge right back on. Um, it's nothing. So anyways, I will let my car heat soak here for a minute while I go out in the bushes and take care of something. And then we'll let it rip and see what happens. All right, cross our fingers, we see no Policia and no Federales on the way in there. Let's see what happens here. And so there's no trickery, that is kilometers. And you'll see the numbers get smaller in a second. When I get over this hill, I guess we'll go for it. I think speed, you know, speed limit down here is like 80 kilometers.
the fastest I've ever gone in this car right there. I actually think that that is, it makes me sound not quite like a car addict, but I think that's actually the fastest I've ever gone on four wheels. I've gone way faster than that on two wheels, way faster. But it also does it in a way shorter distance when you weigh 140 pounds and ride an R1. Uh, but, oh, and also, Grandma, Mom, and Jill, if you're just seeing that, I know you don't approve, but I told you not to watch. So, it's your fault. I love you guys. <laughs> um, anyways, back to the speed. Uh, I think I've done 137 in my Datsun 280Z. My One of my Mustangs was limited at 115. I never took it off. Uh, I did 135 as far as I know in my 335. Um, and that, that, I mean, that would have kept going for sure, though. That sucker pulled hard at those speeds. But we're talking 500 horsepower, 240. So it's a huge difference. Um, all right. The goal is complete. I have done 144 in my Honda Civic. So anyways, uh, I meant to have a video here of my 450R against my brother-in-law's 250X because he always talks shit that his dirt bike is faster than my quad. Uh, he rode the quad, took it down the thing in third gear and said that was good enough. Then I got him to go out and he did actually finally top it out in fifth and came back saying that's more power than you need. So I'm pretty confident that means the quad is faster and we did ride together and I know the quad is faster. I just didn't really get a drag race on film. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Please subscribe. And I'll uh, see you guys later. All right. I'm out. I should have left my speedometer in kilometers. Check you guys. I'm barely on it. I'm doing 131. 140. 150. This is only like half throttle in sixth gear.